Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Neville, and I want to talk to you a little bit about food sensitivities. Now, whether you call these reactions to food, food sensitivities, intolerances, allergies, doesn't really matter too much to me. It's an adverse reaction to food, um, and it's incredibly common, especially in my patient population. Now, when I think about it, um, when your immune system's reacting to a food, that's a problem, right? That's kind of a messed up immune system because the immune system is supposed to be protecting us, right? T saving us from bacteria, viruses, you know, parasites, things like that, right? Not attacking foods. So it's a problem. It's, a, it's actually a pretty serious problem um, with the immune system in and of itself, which is then going to dovetail into what controls the immune system, adrenal fatigue, stress response issues. But again, that's another story. We'll talk about that some other time. So we're having an adverse reaction to food. What, what could that feel like? Well, it could cause bowel problems, right? It could cause some, some gas, bloating, diarrhea, heartburn, not uncommonly. But more often than that, like a lot of my patients are diagnosed with like irritable bowel, kind of garbage can diagnosis, really. Um, but a lot of times it causes more systemic reactions like joint pain or fatigue or brain fog, um, but even like palpitations or rashes and eczema, things like that. So what I realized was that when I identified and dealt with the patient, those food sensitivities in my patients, they felt better quicker. And ultimately, they, they got better um, over time, faster because we identified and dealt with those. Still have to fix the underlying cause, but it's an important thing to do. So how do we, how do you figure out if you're having food sensitivities? Because they're the reactions are kind of amorphous and the, the, the reactions can even be delayed, not uncommonly, like 24 or 48 hours. Personally, I test. I do a, an IgG ELISA test, which is a certain part of the immune system. If you go to a typical allergist, they're going to do uh, skin prick testing, things like that. You can also do what's called an uh, elimination challenge diet to try to discover what these food allergies might be. Most common food allergies that I see show up on the testing. Gluten, dairy, eggs. Gluten, dairy, eggs. Easily the top three. Um, and, you know, soy is not uncommon. Soy, corn, uh, citrus is another one. There's some others. I tend to like to test so I don't have to mess with my patient's diet um, unnecessarily, right? Once you identify and you deal with these food sensitivities, intolerances, allergies, it will take that reaction away. It'll take that stress away, right? That demand on the body. Um, and uh, invariably, when I uncover and deal with these food sensitivities in my patients, um, people feel better. And that's the goal, right? Still got to fix the underlying cause. But the goal is to feel better. And in the short term, the food allergies can really help. So good luck.